you did soaps. You were on Passions. Passions. Yeah, and I thought, like, okay, this is interesting. You probably could have helped me out before I went and did a oh, soap opera. All the tricks of the trade. Yeah, because they yeah. say there's, uh, it's like being in boot camp, right? When you're when you're in a soap opera, you yeah. have to train so much. You're constantly performing that you learn a lot. Well, you learn the wrong things. Right. So you you learn what not to do later on in your career. Like right. um, I I I moved my face a lot. When I was on Passions, I moved your face a lot. Yeah, I did a lot of face moving. Right. Which apparently, for a human woman, is not—it's not attractive on, ca on camera. <laughs> Probably not attractive no. for anybody to move their face too much. It's well. You it's, mean while you were doing scenes? Like just, normal, yes. <laughs> <laughs> just do a lot of that. Like we do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. You were self-conscious and you were trying too hard. No, I was just being a normal human lady. Oh. And apparently it's not, it's, no one wants to see that. People want to see <laughs> less people, is people more, want to right. see. People want to see you talk like this. Right, yeah. very stoic. Yeah. Or you can get also um, lost in a flashback. Lost in a flashback? Flashback face. When you what, have flashback to, on, face when you're, soaps, you're remembering. Do, yeah, they do a lot of flashbacks and then you have to have, you have a special camera where you put on your flashback face and there's always fear of getting lost in the flashback and never coming back <laughs> out of the flashback. So a flashback would be like, you would look to that camera and you would start to remember the times that you, and then you would just get, you just get lost in a reverie kind of? I never got lost in a flashback. Right. I don't know what would happen, but I've heard that people get lost in flashbacks and they never come back. <laughs> You know what I'm dreaming of? I'm having a flashback to Marty's flashback. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a guy play. That's a guy. <laughs> Marty. Marty. Marty, that's a guy pleasuring himself on the subway. It's not a bad flashback. <laughs> Can. We uh, we found a picture of you from Passion. Oh, good. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are an extraordinarily beautiful woman, and they put you in this pantsuit. <laughs> it's the it's what was that all about? It's the famous blue pantsuit. I don't know. They wa they wanted me to be a 75 year old accountant, I guess, and I was 24 at the time. Right, I'm not right. sure. Why? They went out of their way to make you look uh, middle-aged when you were 24. Yeah, we, I actually, uh, that pantsuit is very f famous because uh, my, my husband and I threw a um, film festival a few years ago called the Embarrassing Film Festival, mm -hmm. where we had all of our actor friends um, submit their worst works, and we gave, we gave prizes. <laughs> that sounds like a, actually a really fun yeah. idea. We had some award-winning actors in the bunch, too. Uh -huh. it, was, it was really good. I can't say any names. <laughs> um, but I ended up winning worst wardrobe with that. And uh, I think worst hair. Um, right. And af after they showed that clip, there were people there who had known me for decades. Like good friends. Good friends. I had known for a while. And um, my husband overheard people talking outside. They were like, um, did Natalie just have a shit ton of work done? Because she looks 100 in that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. These are, these are your these friends. These are people who have known me for years. OK. Just, yeah, that's nice. Know, yeah, they're all sweeties. So uh, <laughs> actors. Uh,